hello guys and welcome to a brand new video today i'm here with garo the movie uh, i think this is called divine flame uh this is my reaction to it okay so the previous video or previous week i completed uh the final two episodes of garo hono no kokuin um it was uh a, a, a quite a satisfying ending um even though like you know we lost uh one of our beloved characters again which is herman and um, by the end of it everything kind of wrapped up pretty nicely um leon was able to defeat mendoza and you know like in, in that process like you know the process of defeating mendoza had like you know he had to fuse with uh his dad's armor you know his own armor and uh, his dad's armor both of them kind of fused and he like became like a new form of uh took a new form uh even though he was so strong in that form uh, garo still like you know after fusing with anima garo became this un like an undying like an constantly regenerating monster who was obviously being like you know like being uh pushed around like you know, he was being pushed to the corner but it was a big problem because whenever we cut him off he regenerates insta regenerates so however we try to like you know defeat him by the end of it he regenerates so that problem like you know like and leon came to the uh decision that i should take him to the makai world and you know like i'll also be there i'll i'll see him there forever uh obviously his friends uh, like you know emma and alfonso were not having that that's why they kept the gate open and by the end of it we see uh, the tattoos that always come into leon was actually his mother's protection for him and you know like that manifests and his mother takes uh like you know like keeps burning mendoza completely and doesn't let him regenerate and his mother says like i'll hold him here you go and uh, yeah and in the end he also kind of got a glimpse of his dad as well <laughs> and his dad told to like you know go and keep an eye on himena as well and uh, yeah everything pretty much uh like you know kind of wrapped up uh mendoza will be there forever i think always dying and constantly regenerating you know being burned by uh the flames of uh anna and uh, i hope he'll not come out again uh and uh by the end of it uh everything went pretty well like you know alphonse uh like you know kind of started like you know doing more of his kingly duties and you know like uh reconstruction of the town um <clears throat> Leon went to Himena and like you know Himena is has a baby now uh, and uh, he, Leon is taking care of her and you know like and I, I'm guessing he's probably living there and keeping an eye out on uh, all the like you know what do you call them all the horrors if they come or not and he'll defeat them and they're going to wait for and he's going to wait for another successor that like you know a worthy successor who he could hand over the makai armor too and this is going to continue like that was like the ending of the story like you know like this is going to continue or like you know, obviously horrors are going to come they won't stop but there will be people there to protect this world forever and uh yeah that was the end so I'm, i know i think like this is like a sequel to that this movie so let's check it out what this is about so yeah this is my reaction to garo uh the movie divine flame so let's get started Right, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. And this here, like you know, I'll only give the subtitles because I'll not do it in the way I do it because it's a long, like you know, like it's a long movie. I think like it's one and a fifth hour, on one hour fifteen minutes. So like because it's a long chunk, you know, like there's like more uh, chances of it being copy, like you know, copyrighted bots getting triggered. So I'm only going to give the uh, subtitles so you know like uh, definitely sync the original video if you want to watch my reaction alongside it so yeah let's get started um i'll be putting this up oh i already said that so yeah um let's start here's the countdown three two one go all right Tenth anniversary. Oh, but 
the hell is that noise? Oh, it's underwater? What the? What the hell? Is this underwater? Yeah. Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> this is how it starts. <laughs> uh, okay. Rita. Is this a horror? Wait, is is that Herman? What? What? No, that's not Herman. What the hell? All right. So, which one is the horror here? I'm sure either one of them is a horror. I think it's the man, isn't it? No. Mario. Okay, the horror is the other one. All right. Oh, damn. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it took his face. Okay. Oh no. No. Mm, all right. Okay. Wow. So this thing steals people's faces? Oh, is that Leon? I think so. Okay. Yeah, I think that's Leon. Damn, he's like <laughs> keeping an eye out on the whole city just Oh Garo Divine Flame. Damn the animation is Oh I ah the animation is astounding. Like yeah there you go, that's Leon. the hell is this random thug this is not even a horror or is it no it's not a horror oh she is okay <laughs> i was not expecting that twist i he, he's talking to you dude wow <laughs> He's like, oh yeah. Crimson Gale. Sights. Oh! Damn, he's just standing in one place. Whoa, what is this song? Oh! Damn, the animation is clean. Oh, the sound! Sound of the armor! <laughs> wow, okay! This is really good! Oh! Oh, oh no. 
Ah, and there you go. Oh! <laughs> wow. Amazing. Well, obviously this is Mappa, but still, you know, like, and and this is a movie. The budget is a lot more. Crowning ceremony. Okay. <laughs> oh, this girl. We saw her in in the ending episode. Christina, so is she's going to be his wife or something? No, okay, no. Like, it did, does, did seem like Alfonso kind of liked her. <laughs> Who is this? Ah, the king! Rebuilding, yeah. <laughs> Yo, dude. Yep, the on. Hmm. <laughs> what? What is it like training kids? And that kid. <laughs> Roberto. Who's this? <laughs> yes, yeah. Oh, this is Jimena's kid. I'm like, who's this random kid he's training? <laughs> Wait. So this is like a time skip. This kid seems like four, three or four years age or something. So probably five years have like, you know, already passed or something. <laughs> <laughs> Three, there you go. So four years has passed. Almost four years. <laughs> well, he's also his cousin, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Jiro is still with her. He's three. <laughs> he's three year old. Like, he's supposed to cry. <laughs> True, exactly. Hmm. 
Yeah. Yeah, true. That's true, like, he still doesn't have anything, like, uh, Roberto. Yeah, like, he's so young that he doesn't even... Yeah, that's as well, like, you know, we're not taking his wishes into consideration. Like, I'm sure he'll, like, I think, like, he probably wants to become, or m maybe he doesn't even realize what's happening, like, why are people training him? What? What's happening? Oh, wait, Garm called them or something? Oh, great. What now? Half a year. Hmm. Or maybe he, he himself became a horror or something. Oh my god! Whoa! Alright. Okay. I, yeah, that's extremely forced. Oh, that, that lady, okay. The one we saw in the beginning. Ah, uh, okay, that's right. Why? Why is his name coming up again? <laughs> oh, that's why. They're not using it to sound. What? Oh. So they're trying to... Dozens and hundreds. Yeah. Yeah. Back up. Okay. Hmm. Damn. Vazelia. Doesn't exist. Oh. oh no, what's happening here? Whoa! Oh my god, what the hell is happening again? What the? Oh, she's following them. Okay, follow them. Follow them. Oh, 
اه Hmm. What the no, they don't look human. What are they? Oh my god, this horses. Oh, oh my god. Damn. Whoa. My God, this animation is not stopping. Okay, he, he still hasn't donned his armor. Oh my God, what the hell is that? Is this the guy who we are supposed to meet up with? Damn! This guy- Oh! This guy has a spear? I think that's a spear, isn't it? Okay. Oh no. He knows. Uh, how does he know? Yeah. Then Obsidian Knight. Dario Monto. Damn, he is he blind? I think so. Okay. He reminds me of that character from Bleach. I don't remember his name. The one the the, the blind character, you know, with the I forgot his name. Um, didn't he hear this from Garm? Wait, is he not the guy who we are assigned? I think he he he's supposed to be the one who was assigned to us, wasn't he? What? That also yes, Alfonso. Does he know that Roberto got got? Oh my god, what is this? Oh, Emma. Oh my god. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs>
Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, she broke the barrier, yeah. I was like, what's she doing? Okay. Not broke, but kind of made a hole in it. Oh my god, he's not the one? I, I also thought that he's supposed to be... That, I thought that's why he knows that he's uh, Garo. Oh, okay, okay, that mission, all right. Hey, what, uh, that voice, what the hell is happening? What? Yo, go! Who is that? Yeah, dude, what the hell? How? He, he's dead! How is he here? Oh my god, this... It's L Leon, isn't it? Yeah, took him. What the hell is happening? He is Herman. Explain the whole. Wait, what? Gum brought him? Oh, that's why he got, she got hurt. Oh, he's the help. Yeah. But why him? Last resort. Oh. Yeah, why him? Oh. Okay, he, he does know that. Okay, so he's the help that Khan was talking about, not the other guy. I, what was his name? Something with D or I forgot. What? Hmm. Okay, what the hell is that? Wait, can he even use his armor? He's supposed to be dead. I don't think he can use his armor.
It's a it's a model tool, okay. Damn. Oh. Damn. Oh my god, it breathes fire. Okay. Oh, he has it. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Hmm. All right. <laughs> Transform the Okay. A little bit later because there's a time limit whenever you don the armor. Or maybe they won't even need to transform. They can do it on their own. Yeah, okay. Oh, there you go. It transformed. I think both of them transforming is a bit of an overkill. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's Okay. This is just waiting with Roberto. Oh my god! Oh no, I feel like that's a dummy. That's a dummy. Oh no, that's just a doll or something. God damn. Yep. Oh my god, it's gonna blow! Yo, move! Wait, what? Wait, what? Why was he standing there? What happened? Oh. 
Okay, that was confusing. Why was he standing? Oh, these. Oh, wow. Hmm. So, so both of them are going like you know like these two are for the ring and while those two are for uh roberto going for roberto like like they, they have like broken down the two jobs among themselves i guess without even oh oh really Wait. He was acting as a deeper. Oh my god. Oh. Wow, they completely Oh god. <laughs> yeah, they don't even know that he got kidnapped. Oh my god, that was like a completely false lead then. Great. Like this, ugh. Wait, he has his own horse now? I guess he defeated a lot of horrors, so he eventually got one. Damn, his horse looks amazing. My God. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. Where's okay? There he is. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, I don't think so. Oh, wait, what? Why? Oh, is that like someone he knew when she was alive or something? Like that horror? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> ah! D <laughs> wow, just okay. <laughs> wow. Oh, 
Okay, be careful. What? Oh my god, what the hell? Who is this? Oh, I, I knew it. He, 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 she was someone who he knew. Wait, she was like the royalty or something? Yeah. Wow, this place looks amazing. My God. Yeah, so she was royalty of uh, princess. Oh boy. Oh my god, horror. Ah! So is that why he she transformed to a horror? Maybe after like you know her face got wounded. I, okay, let's uh, watch first. Like negative emotions. Yeah. I feel like that's what happened. Like you know she probably started. Oh. Yeah, she started having negative feelings and it went down from there. Hmm. And she became possessed by a horror because negative feelings. And that's why she takes females' faces and consumes men. Oh, that's why he took his own eyes. Ugh. <sighs> 
Oh my god. And yeah, he she became one with the horror. Oh my god. Oh, damn. Yeah. Uh. Oh my god. Yo, Alfonso. Oh my god, he's still kind of Okay, there, there you go. Oh no, uh, that's Leon, okay. Oh, they arrived here, okay. I guess after listening to Dario, okay. <laughs> She'll be like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, she's like, I need her a horror. She, he is technically a horror, you could say. Okay, yo, calm down. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. Okay, thank God Alfonso is here. Oh no, Alfonso doesn't know. Okay, I forgot about that. Leon. <laughs> or Dario. <laughs> Dario. Okay, tell about Garm. I'm sure she'll understand. Damn, everyone was all, almost going to get killed. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Oh. oh great. Yeah, you know what, how he suffered? What type of a... Whoa! Wait, is he also her? Yeah, like not horror, but his armor is like, you know, yeah, just like, I think, what was his name? Bernardo or something? Just like him. He's also. Oh, no. Oh, he also lost. Oh, okay. Oh my god. We... Okay, thank god. Uh, she's a horror. Roberto's not a horror. Oh, if you think of it that way, I guess. Ah, but... Oh, my God. Oh, those are Emma's... Yeah. Okay, I was able to understand what he's trying to say. He's trying to say, like, the feelings are the same. Feelings to protect, even though it's a horror.
Oh, he's getting the. Oh my God. Ah. <sighs> Oh my, what, what is, oh, okay, okay, I was like, <laughs> okay. Yeah, all right. <laughs> punch him. <laughs> all right, punch him now. <laughs> all right, punch him now. <laughs> All right, Garm is going to be pissed off now. Garm will be like, what that is happening? Why is he getting so much injured? <laughs> oh my God, come on. <laughs> yeah. True. Yeah, exactly. We need to stop it before that. All right, calm down. You are technically half horror. So don't let Oh my god, I knew this is going to happen. Ah. There you go. I, I was just saying like you know don't like the negative feelings. Yeah. Oh, this is the flower. Okay. I was like, Damn, it's raining. Hmm.
Oh god. Wait, who's that? <sighs> oh my god. Uh Oh, great. Wow. Oh, he's just, just... Oh, wow, my god. Okay, yeah, the animation, they went full out with it. I feel like she's leading them somewhere to a trap or something. Oh! Hi. Ah. The problem with this thing is that if it grabs you, it's over. That's the biggest problem. Like, look at it, always trying to grab... Okay. Okay. Mm. My god. Ah! Yeah, the weapon is very, like, you know, a spear is extremely advantageous over short-range weapons, but okay, there you go, nice. Wow. Oh. All right. Okay. Whoa, went under water and popped up behind him. My God. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Okay, we're almost there. Come on. Uh. 
Evet. Ya. Yeah. Ya. Yeah. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, grab it, oh my god, grab it. Oh lord Oh he's Oh god. Where is Alfonso and Emma? Oh, they're fighting the other ho yeah. Oh. Okay. Nice. Oh, wait. She brought a minigun? My god. Ah. Oh. The same thing that she used to say to him when she was alive. One thing I don't understand. Like, Roberta is still not in. Like, you know, like, so how is she getting resurrected then? How? Oh my god.
Yep. Like here, it's it's still falling. So, how did it it get activated? Even if, even though it's oh my god. Like this, fuck. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Mm. <laughs> I feel like because he's going to oh, because he's going to go back again yeah he doesn't want to like make him sad there you go hmm I feel like Himen is going to come here. Ah, uh, that's true. <laughs> Damn, I agree with both of them. Uh. <laughs> okay. Okay, there you go. I, I knew, like, Himena was... You know, she left her house. What now? Whoa, what's happening? Wait, what? That's Ziruba, wasn't it? Oh my god. Wait, so... So it got inside Ziruba? But what happened? That's, that's Dario and... Uh, the mixture.
Wow. Whoa. Whoa, what's happening? What the? Oh, wait. He... Is this like... Uh, lend me your power. Whoa! Oh, it's all that, all the gar. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is that. I was thinking, is this like? that that portion where like you know the what do you call it the, that time chamber where you know like he made his grandfather like zaruba's due to zaruba's influence or something okay oh whoa what the is this like a mixture of all the garos Damn, my god, that's a very cool design. So I'm guessing he took the power from all the past Garos and is borrowing that strength. Wow. Damn. Like one thing that really impresses me about this show is the designs of the characters and the horse and everything like I don't know it reminds me so much of Evangelion, you know? Like like this whole scene, like look at the horror. Like the design. Like this so much reminds me of Evangelion and you know that type of the angels in Evangelion and all. Like fantastic. Wow. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Uh, Jiruba is there. I don't understand what the hell happened to Jiruba then.
<laughs> what? Oh, yeah, he. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, she, she goes on another journey, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. oh my god this okay this is a really good movie i have to say like And that's it, yeah. I have to say that, um, like, I feel like this movie improved in every aspect. Like, you know, like, the, the anime itself was really good, but I feel like they were able to improve itself so much from the anime. Like, obviously, uh, the animation is, obviously, no doubt, this has a lot more budget, so obviously the animation, the visuals will be more crispy, clean, and really good. That's like you know that's something that it expected from a movie. Uh even though like you know that was one thing like that was expected, the other aspects I feel like they also were able to improve. Like I don't know, like the story I felt like the the way they the like, you know the little story that they were able to tell us in one hour, uh one hour ten or twenty minutes, uh was I don't know was was it, it had so much you know it had so much and it was able to like and, and it was not that it was rushed you know the pacing felt very normal very like you know okay even though the pacing felt so normal the amount of content they were able to cover in this one movie of one hour not even two hour is impressive like it's really impressive like so many things happen you know in this one hour movie i feel like a lot of movies aren't able to do this like usually movies are are like two hours the amount of content they're able to cover no close to this one i don't know how they were able to do it but they were able to do it somehow in one hour 10 minutes like tell a story which was just so much ah, this song is also really good
Hmm. Okay. That's it. Right? Is there anything else? Any after credit scene or something? <laughs> no. There you go. Wow. As I was saying, you know that, and uh, like <clears throat> anime movies we've seen, like not everyone has seen anime movies, but. I don't know. I feel like this, like this is one hour, twenty minutes. Even anime movies which are like two hours, I feel like this movie was able to cover so much in a very normal pace than a lot of movies are able to do. I I don't know how they were able to do it because you can see so much happened here. Like like first there was that whole thing with the horror. Um, you know, like we saw the horror doing like you know like taking the faces, all that stuff we saw. Um, then we get to see Alfonso and Robert, Alfonso, Roberto and um, Leon, you know, training or whatever. Um, we get to see a little bit of Jimena, what she is doing and what's the situation there. Um, Garn calls them, Garn talks about, talks about the whole new problem that has started. And um, then Roberto gets kidnapped, Leon follows Roberto. We meet uh, Da. What was his name? Dario. Hold on. Oh damn! I forgot. Just a sec. <laughs> just a sec. Let me just double check. I think his name was Dario, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was Dario. Uh, Dario. Is it Dario? There you go, Dario. Yeah. We meet Dario. Um, and uh, we go to say Roberto while Alfonso meets Emma. Alfonso and Emma goes towards the uh, the Jirukel's ring to like, you know, stop that and the story kind of branches into two parts where we get two perspectives of what's happening over there Dario and uh, Leon meets uh, Herman and you get to know how Herman is here and how uh, you know Garm is like you know helping him out uh, to be manifested here and the reason we also get to know that if something goes south uh, since uh, Herman is dead, he can go in and stop it. You know, the whole the whole thing with the Zirikil's ring. And uh, so Herman and our like you know, this group goes to save um, Roberto, and like you know we f fight that huge beast. Like so many things, you know, like so many things happened here. Like you know, so many battles as well. Like it's impressive. They were able to cover so much without making it feel rushed um then uh okay and then we on on the other side we see uh um, alfonso emma finding out that roberto has been kidnapped and uh like uh and uh yeah like we get a backstory then after that we get a backstory of uh darius uh, dario sorry dario <laughs> dario and the princess sara i think that was her name and uh, a small little backstory we were also able to get and we get to see what's happening why he's trying to protect her and uh, uh, leon and all like you know uh, herman gets to know about that story uh, dario uh, like you know tells that to him uh, and then like you know act, the actual battle begins with between between the horror leon like and you know, all of them come into the same place and dario is also here dario is trying to put uh, Roberto in in that thing while uh, you know they're trying to save him uh, the fight again kind of breaks up into two parts where uh, Alfonso and um, I was her name? Emma Emma tries to uh, like, you know, fight the the horror while uh, Roberto uh, not Roberto what the hell <laughs> Leon and Herman uh, both of them uh, fights Dario and uh, <clears throat> to get back Roberto and um, like all that then then um, Leon gets yeah Leon gets almost like you know like sucked in by that uh, horror uh, but he gets saved by Herman and then we take a little break and then again we fight start the battle again another fantastic fight you know like that that whole scene was fantastic it was like a 10 to 15 minutes constant action with just amazing animation like that was impressive you know like i feel like that was like a good chunk of time like a 
10 minutes almost like you know constant battle constant animation and my god that was fantastic everything was so clean like you know like they you know like the, the whole battle that happens over there it, it did not stop for a moment like it was just continuously happening and uh, i feel like this is like the longest section of anime battle that i've no there are like you no know, battles like this i have seen other battles like this but it, it is like a significant amount of constant animation like usually what happens in a battle like you know like characters fight for like how much one minute one minute 30 seconds they stop start talking <laughs> all is needed in an anime you know like in the middle of the battle suddenly everyone stops and the enemy starts narrating his backstory <laughs> while the other person just stops and listen and then again they start fighting and like you know like this this is usually how like you know a, a battle animations go uh there has been obviously like an exceptions like a lot of fights where it's a like good chunk of time but i feel like this is like in one of them like on this this whole section of battle where no backstory no narration continuous fighting just for like 10 minutes they they kept doing it you know like like the whole thing with emma kind of swinging around while like you know the horror trying to get her while over there herman and uh, leon trying to save uh, roberto and like you know each and everything was happening one after the other and just for a good chunk of you know 10 to 15 minutes the animation just kept going which is impressive and uh, then uh like you know like he ch like you know kind of uses uh, Roberto as a sacrifice like and the thing kind of falls down and uh, Herman goes to save him Leon comes and tries to save him as well now here's one thing that I I don't and uh, it's I, I probably understand so what basically happened I'm guessing is like he threw the, the thing with Roberto in it inside that part you know that that hollow thing and the thing that i was really confused about is like it was falling and the the apparatus the the, the zircos ring or whatever the name is it got activated even though it was on the pro in the process of falling it did like you know like roberto was still not sacrificed so like what was that about like you know like i i was expecting like you know if if which obviously was never going to happen uh, roberto gets sacrificed and he falls in there then the thing is going to get activated not in the his in the process of falling like you know like there's like a big chunk of section where he has to fall from top to bottom and while he was falling the thing got activated i'm like what's happening is this how it's supposed to work i guess probably because as as soon as like you know herman got him and leon also got him and brought them back out of that part the whole apparatus shut down again and uh, so it's basically not that you know like as soon as it falls into that hole or whatever it's going to get activated i think so that's one thing i i was like what's happening why did it get activated like he he has not even fallen into the thing he's in the process of falling but something like that i'm guessing i don't know so yeah and then like you know the whole section with uh the yeah herman saving uh roberto and jiruba also helping out and uh, yeah the whole apparatus stops everything is like you know happily ended they are going back roberto uh gets to know that's his dad and then oh what now here's another thing i i don't understand what the hell happened there why did jiruba get like you know off like it feels like she kind of broke into two a weird light comes out and from that the thing emerges so what happened was was that thing did the thing get inside ziruba is that what happened there this part i don't understand like how did dario and that the horror get you know get summoned over there at that moment was it like hiding inside Yoruba or something? I don't know. Or is it even possible? But yeah, and then, you know, like uh, Leon does that thing. Yeah, everything's okay. Like this, this like, you know, as I said, like, you know, you, you saw how many things happened here in this little section. 
uh, in one hour 20 minutes I'm impressed by this okay uh, now this movie it was as I said it was fantastic uh, beautiful uh, the story itself was very interesting we kind of get to see what each and every characters are doing um leon like you know kind of like you know doing his own thing protecting people and at the same time training roberto and all like we see him being a little bit strict at the beginning alphonse always like was like why are being so strict and he was like oh he needs a, he has a duty this and that and um, like that was the whole thing which obviously like you know he kind of changes his mind by the end of this uh movie he 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 realizes that yeah like you know, it's I should let that like you know like I, I should not be so strict and uh, while um you know also we we also see alfonso what he's doing he's like, he's going to become the king i'm guessing and uh uh yeah and he's also doing his job as a makai knight um other than that uh we got to know what um what's his name <laughs> herman <laughs> herman is doing <laughs> <laughs> obviously we don't know what he's doing he's in the afterlife but still we again get to meet him which i was really not expecting and uh, yeah he's as always the same even after death <laughs> and uh oh emma yeah emma is actually like you know he, he said like she's going to go back to her hometown so she's like she's like no that didn't suit me i'm i'm again traveling so she again is like a traveler going around places and probably just uh, helping out people trying to stop the horrors from you know and uh, yeah that was it that was all these characters what they were doing we get to know we get to meet a new character Dario and um Sarah you could say the princess who is like horror like in a horror form okay so a few things that we got to see here which was like you know like what can I say like which is kind of interesting is uh, the whole what do you call it comparison you could say between like when Dario said that aren't you doing the same thing like you no know, to Herman he said aren't you doing the same thing that I am doing I mean, is your, isn't your feelings for um, Roberto the same as my feelings for Sarah now at that moment I was like no she's a horror so it, 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 it's not the same but uh that was not he was trying to say i realized that the thing that he was trying to say was the feelings he's not talking about the things that's happening he's talking about the feelings the you know like isn't it the same like and i agree with that it is the same which robert uh, like you know herman also agreed in the end he said that yeah our feelings are the same like like you know i can't do anything to help like you know like you know, to help my child out that makes if that makes me a horror then yeah that makes me a horror which is Kind of interesting to see here because um like what what can i say like makai knights and alchemists are always supposed to be um i can look at the greater good i guess you could say so these type of personal like you know like ah uh, what do you call them personal preference like you, know, you prefer or your yeah preference i think that's what you would call the situation personal preference that oh i'm going to choose one and not many this thing in itself is something i don't know like i feel like makai knights are not supposed to do which i guess we we kind of got like you know deep into like you know more uh, in the anime as well you know remember that section where uh herman said that i'm not going to like you know let a single person die so yeah if you think of it in that way yeah i guess like you know every life matters but you know the whole thing here of like you know what can i say like choosing one instead of many which was which was what dario was doing he was choosing one person and he was ready to sacrifice all the like you know others or other people in doing that you know and he, he calls that like you know like a like you know the feelings uh isn't it the same that uh, he, uh herman also had that i don't know if i'm able to explain it correctly but isn't that the same feelings that herman had for his son so like you know like 
uh, I don't even know where I'm going at, but yeah, like I feel like this this whole thing of um, where Herman said that yeah, I'm that if that makes me a horror, then yeah, it makes me a horror. It's kind of I not funny to think about that. What he's basically saying is like that. That's like a normal human emotion, like you know, saving your child and you know, preferring your child over the other lives, uh, something like that. And uh, it's funny to think about that. <laughs> it actually is basically like you know like you're choosing someone preferring someone which which is definitely not something that makai knights should do so i don't know like you know like uh, this is the thing like oh boy this reminds me of uh one of those another scenes of one another anime i'm going to like you know uh, like in a vinland saga where the priest talks about uh what is love and what is um uh, I, I can't find the proper word preference not preference there's, there's another better word for this ah like you know like choosing someone like what do you call it i can't remember i'm going to call it preference for now but it has a better word to explain that you know uh so yeah like he talks about what is love and what is like you know you like you know you choosing someone or like you know preference and he talks about how what we like you know show towards our children or like you know like our loved ones is not love but we basically prefer them more than others what love is like you know like is like after death death perfects like you know a person and after die we give everything to everyone equally and that is love this reminded me of this like you know this whole thing where this whole thing comes up like you know what herman is doing is like you know he, since he's his child obviously he's going to like you know choose him before some other random person or something similarly dario as well like you know he's going to choose princess sarah over someone else you know and that's basically what they're they're, they're like and that's the preference what they're going to give their first priority to that's not love you know love is something different love is giving to everyone equally which i think is the main motto of not motto but the main thing of the makai knights you know give everyone equally everything you know protect humanity as a whole don't choose or don't like you know look i'm going to help him or her out instead of these people help everyone equally like you know like that thing this impartiality partiality yeah there you go i i found that word not like you know it's a better word than preference partiality yeah i was not unable to <laughs> it, it did not come into my mind that that word partiality that yeah that's that's what it is partiality so yeah, just I just thought about that, you know, like when Dario Dario was saying that, I just remember remind got reminded of that. Another thing that I have to talk about here is I don't know if I was able to understand that whole section, but when Leon gets into that dark like you know place and when Roberto comes out with the knives, um, Leon we see Leon being transported into a sex weird place where there's like like you know past present everything like you know time is like like a constant you know like like it's in the time is not moving or something something is happening and we see all the past garos coming in and he kind of got i don't know how but he was able to get all those powers and was able to transform and um, you know that that battle happened when he comes out tells um roberto that i need your power like obviously you are going to get your own power but for now i need your help i need your power and he taps into that like you know everything kind of combines and he so that section was that the same thing that happened when uh he met his grandfather you know that part where past present like everything is like the same you know i think it's probably that like we got to see all of those those garos you know, like all at the same place like they were probably like his ancestors something like that that's how i understand that whole section if i'm wrong correct me and oh boy the character designs are fantastic as i said like you know like i i get heavily reminded of evangelion whenever i watch this show like you know the character designs of the horrors the um like you know the makai knights as well uh and uh, like yeah like the character designs are phenomenal and uh, like the the final like you know horror that we fought with you know like the one there's like this huge face especially that character design reminded me of so much of evangelion like damn and garo like you know like the final garo's form was fantastic like you know like it's like a he was like a huge airship or something like this huge thing 
with like you know wings and everything beautiful wow like and like as as soon as i think like you know they cannot top this character design another one comes up in in the final episode of garo when he fused with um you know like um herman's uh, makai armor i was like oh this is the best character design oh boy here we go another character design pops up and i'm like oh this is the best i i feel like this is the best one now <laughs> the final like you know golden knight that we saw like that huge thing ah yeah and that was it and, and seeing if i have any other thing to talk about oh and as i said in the end like you know leon was able like you know leon said that yeah like let's go fishing now because I, I think he probably realized like everything has a time and you know they like you know like he doesn't need to rush into it you know when leon talks to roberto he says like you will get your time he probably himself realized that yeah his time will come so i don't need to rush into that let him grow up like a normal person and uh, you know like i'm sure he will get the same like you know drive to protect people and he himself will take up the blade when it's needed so no need to rush into it like always training 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 no and let's let's just be normal <laughs> And like you know, in the end, Roberto was very happy with that. Uh, is there anything else? No, I think that was it. Like these are the sections that I really liked. Okay, what else? Nah, that was it yeah all right so yeah i'll end it here like oh my god it's been a long i've been talking for a long time i think like almost 30 minutes or something so yeah i will end it here um fantastic movie like you know like i feel like yeah this is like a perfect ending you could say like um i don't know i would i would love if there was like a continuation to this like you know at this like i know there are like you know other shows like you know i think there are a few other garo shows as well like um i don't remember the names but something but they're not these you know i'm, I'm talking about this series in itself i would love it if this had a continuation which i don't think they have or they will have ever because i would love to see roberto grown up and everything which i don't think yeah like there, there's no series like that so that's a shame but yeah that that's it so thanks for watching guys this was uh, my reaction to garo the movie divine flame so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new ch to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so that's it all right so uh, next week i'm going to start a new show and um, if you guys are interested it is uh saiki kuso no sainan which is one show that i wanted to watch for a long time but i never watched so here we go doing a reaction now so i'm going to start it from next week and that's going to work that uh, that is the show that's going to replace this one this garo and i'm going to do two episodes every week so yeah if you're interested so yeah that's it thanks for watching and uh, yeah that was a perfect ending um yeah amazing fantastic i love this movie so much this is really good so yeah so see you guys um in the next video yeah until then goodbye and have a nice day